I was born when my mom was 14. Here in Woodburn, she was a student at Woodburn High School. She had a hard time. She ended up dropping out. Um, she had to work. My father was working too. But when I was about three years old, um, they separated. It was a desperate time. I lived with about 10 to 15 relatives in a two bedroom apartment. The food supply at home, we couldn't make enough food for like everyone. Starting in middle school, that's when kids started going into gangs. That's when my peers started using drugs, started drinking. I've had some friends that wanted the attention. They wanted to be someone who they really weren't. There is gang activity around, and um, even for students who aren't actively involved, there's a sense of, you know, aligning themselves in some way or another. It made it hard to have hope. I knew that if I wanted to move out of the conditions I lived on, I had to do something about it. I tried my best. I started learning English. I realized that um, I could get attention and it didn't have to be in a bad way. I got the attention at school. I first met Gustavo four years ago and he stood out immediately. He was very quiet, but he was serious. Gustavo was concerned that uh, he was going to get a top quality education. I would always be in that advanced group and that would make me proud of myself. I always try to do my work correctly, trying to be at the top, and teachers would, would be very supportive and they would, they would give me attention. Gustavo's mother instilled that desire, that need, the necessity to, um, for his education. Today, my mother is first grade teacher at Heritage Elementary here in Woodburn. She graduated from PSU in 2006. I feel very proud of her. He strives, he works for everything that he does. At school, I am involved in leadership class. I am my class vice president. Gustavo has a 3.9 plus GPA. He will likely be our salutatorian or valedictorian. One. Two, three, four, Gustavo's picture appeared in the Woodburn Independent uh, a few weeks ago, and there's an action shot of him. It was on the cover, and I was excited when I saw it, and I handed it to him, and he hadn't seen it, and he was like, oh. <laughs> He's so modest. He's a role model. He's someone that other students will listen to. He has that power, that ability to, to work with other people and, and, and help them, inspire them. I want to major in engineering. I want to come back, talk to students from here. I want to be dressed up in a suit. <laughs> I want them to see someone like them and I want to show them that if I could make it, they too could make it.